Hello everyone, and welcome back to All The Mods 9. We are back on the server. Um, an update, this is currently going to be like a little server between me and a, a, just a small group, but we do also have the public server um, up. It's, it's up now, so all that stuff's over in the Discord. Um, so that'll be fun. I, I haven't jumped into it yet, so I, you know what? Let, let, let's do that. I, w I wanna see how many people have started because I think there's been a few. All right, here we are. RTP away or stay close. I'm assigned not a cop. <laughs> okay. I genuinely haven't seen this. Okay, we've got an egg on spawn. That, that is ridiculous. All of these um little colored spots are people's claims, right? People's bases. I uh, yeah, so there's gonna be a lot to look at. Um Yeah, cool. Okay, sweet. Uh, I got what I came for. I'll, I'll meet you guys back in the playthrough. <laughs> I'll meet you guys back at the base. Alright, so last episode, we made this uh contraption, I guess we'll say. It consists of a villager farmer, and he's uh, farming up some wheat. The wheat goes into this drawer because only wheat can go into it. It obviously won't accept any um, seeds or anything. And then the wheat from there goes into the millstone, and the wheat flour comes here. It gets washed, and the, the way that we have it in terms of um, the speed of this thing, even if this was flowing perfectly, <laughs> um, it would still be slow enough that um, the right amount like processes before it moves on to the next one. So it gets turned into um, uh, bread here and then toast here into this drawer. Now there's a few issues. Um, one issue is this guy makes seeds. I think that's actually something that we can fix pretty easily. Um, although I will need some more wood, so I'll just chop some stuff down. Um, so I'll fix that, that machine up. It, it should be just like a few seconds to um, fix it up. But what I want to do as well this episode is I want to make some tools from um, Silent Gear. Because we do need... Oh, the tree grows! <laughs> Instantly. Um, yeah, I want to get some, obviously, some resources. I want to um, I want to go mining a little bit. <laughs> obviously, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of uh, going around mining. But it has to be done. So we'll, you know, we'll get to it. Um, so I need some drawers. Um... So, I think to do this, I want two. And I'll, I'll try to show you how that works in a second. Make a bit of a mess. Um, so, one is going to go here. Mm. <laughs> or at least I thought it was. Because in my brain, the hopper would output there or below. Like, I, I swear that's a thing, isn't it? I, I mean, apparently not, because we don't have any wheat or any seeds in there. Um, but I will say, I, I am surprised because I thought, I thought that would work. So if I place those there, they don't, they don't go down. No. Okay. Well, well I tried. <laughs> um, that, it's fine. It's fine. I'm sure we can sort that out. The other thing I wanted to solve, and we can, is place this guy here. And this guy's going to have seeds in him. And he's going to have a funnel. Now, the way this guy works is he'll obviously, he'll pick up seeds and place them in there. Because the mill, even when it's only getting wheat, it can actually produce some uh, seeds. We can actually look this up real quick. Um, I showed it off at the end of the last episode, but you may not have watched to the end. They're, they're very long episodes, so I wouldn't blame you. Um, the wheat goes in, wheat flour, and a 25% chance of seeds. That would clog the entire system up, uh, but now it's going to go in there, at least until this guy's full. Um, so yeah, that, I mean, that should be good. I don't know how to solve this uh, seed problem, but... Yeah, we'll, we'll cross that bridge later. Okay, so, uh, second thing second, because we've already done the first things first. I do need to make a little bit more storage just to, just to clear out my inventory. Um, this looks horrible. How do I, hmm. <laughs> how do you, how do I, hmm. <laughs> I don't know how to make the chest connect. I, I'm pretty sure this is like a vanilla feature. Okay, there we go. <laughs> you can tell that I play a lot. All right, so, I want to make um, some tools. So we're going to need some wood for that. So I'll grab some of that out. And I think I'm going to use iron. Um, we'll grab cobble just in case. Some sticks. Sure. Why not? Um, and let's try to see if we can do this. So there's two options in terms of mining um, and the tool we use, right? We can make a pickaxe. Pickaxe does pickaxe things. <laughs> it's pretty simple. You can also make a hammer. Now this guy will mine in a 3x3. Three three. Uh, so he's pretty, cool for, he's pretty good for like doing your tunneling. And then you'd switch to your pickaxe to mine out the ores, right? Now, if you look at Ultimine in the, in the top left, if we crouch while we've got that um, highlighted, you can see there's other options. We can mine a small tunnel, and that will mine 64 blocks in a direction, assuming it's all like the same type of block. Um, there's small square, that does a three by three, which is already what that drill would use, or, or the hammer. So I guess the trade-off would be uh, hunger, 
but we've just automated food. You know, you see where I'm going with this? Like we might be able to just eat away the worries and not need a hammer. Um, the other thing is, um, if we scroll down again, there's large tunnel and this will mine a three by three, uh, 64 blocks, um, or, you know, 60 to 64 blocks worth of that three by three. Does that make sense? It, it'll make more sense once I actually get to, uh, mining, but I thought I'd point that out because I guess there's reasons for and against going with either. We may do the hammer mainly because, um, it'll probably have more durability, right? So it should just be easier to do. Now, to get this guy working, I think we actually need to grab um, some flint. And we don't really have any. <laughs> and we don't really have any uh, gravel either. So I'm sure there's gravel down here. If not, there's probably some in either that um, crater or the other crater over there. But this little uh, tunnel next to us, this ravine-ish type area, I think it's pretty loaded. Like, it's got, <laughs> it's got pretty much everything we've needed so far. And I, I want to say that... It, the forbidden gravel. <laughs> it's floating. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, we'll leave that one there. That's a, it's integral to the operation. Um, is this great? Yeah, okay, so we've got gravel here. Um, and we've already got some flint. Cool, sweet. Um, so I think you craft the flint with the logs and you get some template boards. So we'll craft those out. And then, I guess there's a, a villager there. Um, and then you make a template. It looks pretty simple. What I might do as well is, can we make the um, crafting table on a stick? I think that'll be really good. A stick and a crafting table. Who, <laughs> who would have seen that one coming? In our previous versions, or maybe different versions of this uh, crafting table and a stick, it would use a sign to craft it. So I'm, I'm not completely crazy, okay? I'm not... <laughs> I can take a hint. I, I, I would assume that you need a stick and a crafting table to make a crafting table on a stick. Um, but I've been lied to in the past. Um, anyhow... Uh, I will sleep and then what are we doing? Yeah, we'll make that you can also I'm pretty sure we can make armor from that exact same mod um, So you can make armor using like wood and stuff possibly I'll, I'll double check so the mods silent gear. Yeah, look we've got like chest plate templates legs boots even elytra templates But you need some stuff to make that you can make shears pretty much any tool that the game has you can do it. even some slingshots <laughs> Why not? What else do we have coding? Oh, um that does remind me, in this version of Minecraft, I'm pretty sure you can make trimmed armor. Yeah, armor trim. Oh, and you can craft that stuff, can you? Hmm, interesting. Okay, well, we'll stick to what we're doing. <laughs> I'll try not to get uh, too distracted. So, um, a hammer. Here we go. Hammer template. Cool. So you place this template in here. Um, they're single use if you want a, a, a template that you can keep using. You actually want to make one of these blueprints. So you need blueprint paper, which is blue dye and paper. Um, but we're just going to make one hammer for now, so that's fine. Um, and then you place your blocks in. Now, each tool uses a different amount of whatever the resource is. So as you can see, this one uses, what, um, six iron to make the hammer. And it just makes the hammer head. And you can also see some other things here. Um, it has two different stats, malleable, or, or I guess traits, malleable and magnetic. Um, the magnetic part of that means that it will... Um, it will bring items towards me as I'm using it, right? Which is pretty cool. The malleable, I'm not too sure what that means. There might be, um, at silent, there's probably a book, right? Yeah, the silent gear guide. So a book and a template, which, nah, we could probably do it, but for now we'll just, we'll, we'll bask in the mystery. Uh, but the follow up is, check, oh, I was gonna say check out this, but, but I guess not. But, you can actually mix and match some resources, I guess. Not that. What does this do? That makes a stone one that gives it the ancient trait. Um, can I combine wood in there as well? No. I'm curious because I know you can mix and match stuff. I just don't know what. Yeah, I just don't know what. Um, maybe it's only like metal ingots can go together. So like maybe I can do gold and iron. <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> maybe I have no idea what I'm talking about. But this stuff does, I, I mean, they all do have stats. You can see when I hold control. And we can compare all of them, I guess, and try to figure out which one we want the most. Looking at this just real quick, obviously gold is going to be pretty much useless, I would imagine. Um, and just looking at simply the harvest level here, you can see it's the green text in the middle. Um, the iron has a harvest level of two. Um, the zinc only has a harvest level of one. So 
and, and the speed I'm on. The iron's just better. I, <laughs> but you get the idea, right? You, you can have a look through and you can sort of mix and match and get what you want. Now the hammerhead um, does nothing special. Oh, oh, it's, it's, it's a part, just in case you weren't sure. That is, ah, oh, for some reason I really like that. That looks really cool. Okay, I'm amused easily, as you can see. Um, but we can put a stick in here, and we can make the hammer. Now, but before you do that, there is a tool rod template that you can do. And this will let you make your tool rod out of something else. Um, for example, out of iron. Um, now, you'd want to do this for a number of reasons, right? We could try putting wood in there. It's probably planks, right? Um, because, like, you want the different traits. Um, so like this one has flexible. I don't know what that is, <laughs> but it's got it. We could maybe do like a golden one. What does that do? Bending? <laughs> All of these, um, traits sound very similar. You know, one of them is flexible. One of them is malleable. One of them is bending. Um, here we go. We'll try zinc. Zinc's malleable and soft. That doesn't sound good. Um, we can also, I guess, see the stats there. Durability. Um, 0 0.95 for that, for the zinc. Um, it doesn't even have any stats for the iron, so we probably won't even do that. Gold is a harvest speed plus three. That's pretty good. Um, we're probably just going to do that, to be honest. Harvest speed times 1.1. That's, I mean, that's not too bad. Um, and, and as you can see, I mean, there's so many things you can use. I'm going to do the gold. Why not? Yeah, we're going for it. So, gold handle. Iron um, hammer. This thing will have 500 durability. Oh, and now we can read the traits. So malleable. Gear sometimes takes less damage. Um, magnetic pulls in nearby items. Bending four. Gear sometimes takes extra damage. <laughs> well, that's not good. <laughs> but we've got it now, so that's fine. Um, while we're here, I'll tell you what. Let's um do the pickaxe. Why not? I'll just make a pickaxe head. Um, and we'll keep it simple. We'll just give it a... Uh, hmm. <laughs> um, do I just use a stick? Do I dare? Malleable, magnetic, flexible. Yeah, why not? We'll just make a simple one. There we go. All right. So these are our new tools. We've got a bit of a messy inventory. I could probably get away with um getting rid of some of this stuff, and then I'll start mining. I'll probably um just set up something simple. Um, I might bring a torch. We probably only need one, um, because we have, uh, whatchamacallit, dynamic lights, right? So, what that means is that our, um, our torch in our hand actually lights up around us. See how that shadow gets brighter when I pull out the torch? So, we can chuck that in the offhand, and we don't need to place any torches down, in theory, in theory. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's the plan. <laughs> As for whether this is going to, um, pan out, like... Should I go splunking? I mean, I guess I can. Alright. Well, here goes. <laughs> I'm probably going to pick up most things. Um, unless I know that I'm not going to be using this stuff. Um, there we go. Pickaxe works. Mine's pretty quick. I'm, I'm happy with that. So far, so good. <laughs> we'll grab... Um, yeah, we'll grab some uraninite. This is uh, a fuel source for reactors. Um, but they're pretty early game reactors. So we will probably be messing around with them soon. Coal, of course. What's this stuff? Dimensional shards. We can probably leave the dimensional shards. I'll grab the zinc. Oh. What's that from? Damage a gear. Item pass a certain point. Cool. Yeah, cool. Alright. <laughs> sure. I'll grab some more. We probably don't need that much zinc, though. That's probably enough. Um, and let's show off the hammer real quick before I... I'll probably do some mining, quote-unquote, off-camera. I don't want to... I don't want to be like, oh, do some mining off-camera. Uh, but I'll come back when I, like, find certain ores or, or if I've gotten a, a decent amount of ores from somewhere. Um, because, tr trust me, there's nothing worse than the old, uh, I did some mining off camera and I'll come back with stacks and stacks and stacks of stuff. And it's just not realistic. I, I don't enjoy that. No one enjoys that. I mean, it, you can enjoy it, but yeah, as you can see, that's how that works. I'm getting very distracted. <laughs> if we do the, um, mining tunnel, right? Oh, this is how that works. Why is that opening? Am I pressing tab or something? I don't know. Um, but yeah, how cool is that? Oh, and yeah, as you can see, plenty of ores. And so... You can still use the hammer to like uh, mine in a row like that. 
This is nickel. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I kind of wanted iron. There isn't any wireless crafting grid in your inventory. I'm, oh, that's control. Okay. <laughs> sure. Um, I was going to check out this guy. If I, look, look, yeah, hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. We're, we're, we're going to be doing a, a test here. If I set the pickaxe to small tunnel mode and mine here, it mines a small tunnel, about 51 blocks um, in that direction for this specific spot. If I do that with a hammer, oh, it tries to do the full distance, but it, it doesn't beyond, honestly, beyond like where I could probably um, just mine manually. Um, and then all this stuff is broken. Hmm. Okay. And then if we were to do a large tunnel. Yeah. About what was expected. Okay. Okay. I mean, that's, that, that's cool. Was that a ghost? Oh. <laughs> I'm going to have to um, unbind this uh, crafting grid. Key. Um, control. Oh, God. There's everything. Um, what am I pressing? Open the, I'm not pressing G. <laughs> well, we've got some tin, um, some lapis, and what I wanted to point out was we've got a block of raw platinum, and it needs a diamond level pickaxe, so none of my tools can mine that. Um, but it's there. Oh, actually, just platinum in general needs that. Okay. Yeah, all right. Well, <laughs> I guess we're not mining that up. I might get some prosperity. Maybe we want to do some um, mystical agriculture early on. I also, what do you reckon I do with all this cobble? Resonating ore, prosperity, I'll get some more lapis. I'm sure that's going to be helpful. Okay. Ah. Hello? Ah! <laughs> Oh, this guy actually, hold on. This guy dropped a miniature yellow heart, um, which can be crafted into a canister or an amulet with some more goodies, and then a bundle. And I'm pretty sure a bundle can store a bunch of junk. For example, I can put coal in there with a right click. I can put some uraninite. I can put some lapis. And you can put in pretty much up until a stack worth, but obviously of a bunch of different little things. So as you can see, you can sort of clear up... Um, Quite a bit of inventory. Let's try not to die to a single skeleton. That'd be pretty good. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty fun. Um, oh, is that another bundle? Oh, awesome. Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, we're living the life now. So I can just keep mining forever. <laughs> there we go. Sweet. Yeah. Pleasure doing business with you. All right. Uh, the main thing I'm going to be after is probably um, just, you know, the obvious stuff like iron um, and diamonds <laughs> but i think we have to go pretty low for diamonds in these days right new minecraft sort of sort of dealio what is that yeah okay oh we've got deep slate bought ah and scary sounds <laughs> um deep slate silver from occultism that seems weird oh we've actually got a mine shaft as well that's pretty cool i, I i'm assuming you guys can see stuff because i've got this torch out but on the off chance you cannot, I apologize. <laughs> um, oh, 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 okay. We should be fine down here. I just need to remember to keep eating um, so that I can actually survive more than one fight. All right, we've got a chest there and it looks like the mine cart goes further. Or the mine shaft, sorry. What have we got? Oh. All right, let's see. Um, condensed blood, a bee cage, a sturdy one at that. A oh. oh my, this is genuinely the best backpack to get. Um, especially for someone who records videos. Have a look at this thing. Um, I believe you right click it and you put it on your body like that. Then you need to open it up with one of the buttons. <laughs> um, let's have a look for that. Let's search category. Um, Traveler's backpack is what it's called. Traveler's backpack, right? Backpack inventory. It's currently B. I'm going to set mine to left alt, believe it or not. Um, and we'll finish that. So if I press that, it opens up. No? <laughs> okay, we've got it on. Okay. I guess it doesn't do that. That should open the backpack. Hold on. Hold on. 
<laughs> Hold on. Oh, you know what? I, th I think it's used for other things as well. So if I search key and search alt, um, I guess these are all the different things. This key is also used for focus, um, search logic program. Yeah, okay, so I don't think I use any of these, so I'm just gonna turn them off and we'll just have left off for the traveler's backpack. And that works, awesome. So this is the backpack, right? It's cool. I can toggle the ability and that is night vision that has just been activated. And so I assume you guys can now see the end of that cave as can I. It's a little bit different because it's not like the moody light that we get from torches, but that is phenomenal. I, I mean, we don't have to worry about anything. Curse of breaking your tool breaks faster. I probably won't use that. <laughs> I'll take the gold. Um, I'll leave the music. We can come back for this stuff. It's not the end of the world. Um, it's just a matter of whether we can be bothered, <laughs> I guess. I'll leave that stuff there. We can make all that stuff if we want. Um, but I mean, genuine. the other thing as well, these loot chests, they're random, right? So if it was yellow before I opened it, that means I've never opened it before and it generates a random uh, amount of loot, which is especially beneficial um, for moments like that where I open something that like, I don't know, I arguably you'd be like, ah, oh, I don't know if he actually did that. Surely he cheated that in sort of thing. No, nah, I'm, I'm saved by the bell, um, as they say. And so I'm very, very happy. There's a lot, of, what is slate used for? Slate, not deep slate. Oh, oh, it's nickel slate. Okay, I, yeah, and then nickel deep slate. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, we're, we're all good, we're all good. Um, another. Okay, maybe the bat, maybe the bat packs are actually um pretty, pretty common. Spawner agitator. I feel like that's actually pretty good. I don't need the bread. <laughs> Previously, I probably would take that bread. Can I put some of that stuff away? Cool. Pumpkin seeds. That they might that might be handy. Leave the rest of that stuff. Um, I mean, hey, like this has been pretty good in terms of uh, a little mining trip. I've been grabbing a lot of uh, iron, but even then it's not a lot. All right, our pickaxe is broken. Uh, oh, you know what? I've got, a, uh, we've got a crafting table on a stick, so I could try to craft what we need, but we'll probably just do it back at the base. Um, Cause I think we do need like iron, like smelted iron uh, to repair our tool. Um, platinum slate. This is a long mine shot. I've been running down this specific um, line for quite a while. Uranium. Hmm. Uh, I can't even mine it anyway. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what I'm thinking. Oh, we've got a, um, a fast zombie. A very fast zombie. And you know what? Not that fast. Like fast, but you know, not not the craziest thing we've, we've ever seen. All right, that should be good. I don't think he can get up here. And so we do have a spare pickaxe. And so I can just safely uh, chip away at him. He's got a backpack as well. We might be able to get a traveler's backpack out of this. I don't know what, what trade he's got. It doesn't like say anything special about him. Aside from the fact that we could obviously see so. Um, can I have him fall in there as well? Yeah, there we go. All right, oh, we got him. Um, I guess he was pretty cool. Leather boots, I'll take those. Crafting ingredient, sure, cool. There we go, <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, actually, wait, what, what's this saying? Click here. And so I've got a perk now. Um, Okay, so we get perks for doing stuff. I think this is what we want to do. Increase the chance to get an enchanted key when we die. Um, keys let you grab your gravestone when you die. Like when you die, I, I guess we've got the mod that uh, gives you a gravestone. If your key's enchanted, you can teleport right to your gravestone. So it's actually pretty good to have. So I'm going to learn that and cross our fingers if we die. I, I'll tell you what, I, I mean, I want diamonds, obviously. <laughs> Um, but I don't really see any, and this is like a massive cave. We are, is that diamonds? Hold on. I might be able to cheat a little. Um, lighting? No. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a way to make the stuff glow. I'm pretty sure. Um, glowing redstone, glowing ores. Yeah. And glowing lapis. And we'll toggle those on. 
And then what we should see is stuff glow. And that, that, that feels like a diamond glow. That feels like a diamond glow. Okay. Now I just gotta get there. Oh, <laughs> I'll tell you what. I no longer have to get there. <laughs> All right, sweet. Okay. Um, it looks safe to mine. So we'll go for it. I'll do the shapeless mine. I'll take that up. Five diamonds. Thank you very much. And I'll continue to try to make my way over there because I guess, I mean, we obviously want more, uh, but we may also just run into more, which is pretty cool. Oh, yeah, there's there's at least two. Okay, sweet. Yeah, okay, awesome. Oh, yep. <laughs> There's more. I almost don't even need a cut. Okay. Um, yeah, I've got in inventory for this. I just need to make sure I actually pick it up. What are we at? Nine. Beautiful. And we haven't even made it to the uh, the original ones we found. All right. Well, we're pretty much here. I do have to watch out for that uh, creeper, obviously. Um, but how much is this? This is just one diamond. I imagine this one's... Oh, this one's two. Sweet. I will happily take that. Um, all right, now we'll just try to get pretty much as high up as we can, um, without dying. <laughs> that's, that's the key part of all this. And then we'll, um, we'll probably just have to tunnel out. And there's a few tricks for that as well. So it's not, you know, we're not, it's not all doom and gloom that we are down as far as we are. Um, because back in that ultimine menu, there's an escape tunnel. And so that thing, um, will attempt to build a staircase to the surface, just like that. And so we just gotta make our way up. You can see the magnet's doing a pretty good job. Um, I can store two things. There we go. Um, and you know what? I probably, yeah, we can bring the one lead. Well, I guess I'll have the, the hammer out, so I'll bring, I'll bring everything with. Oh, we've done it. Oh, and yeah, sweet, <laughs> cool. Uh, so we'll bring all the stuff back if we can. We'll probably lose half of it on the way even though it's only a few few steps. Um, sweet. I will try to sort this stuff out and then we'll try to, uh, we'll try to plan, plan what we're doing. We clearly need some sort of storage system. So hopefully we'll have enough stuff. Um, I could start smelting this up or we could invest in an ore hammer. Maybe, I think there's a copper ore hammer you could do. Maybe. And that'll obviously double our ores, which is pretty good. Um, Alternative. I was going to say alternatively this guy, but he's not even doubling stuff, so probably not worth it. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'll, yeah, I'll be back. All right, so I sorted the storage out a little bit. You might notice it's nighttime. I do want to kill this guy real quick, so ah, we'll see if I can do that without the skeleton killing me. If I, I don't, I don't know where he is. Why is he, why is he the best skeleton ever? Okay, hold on. Hold on, I need to clutch up. Um, the reason I'm over here, though, is our base was overrun by um, pillagers. So, yeah, I figured I should, probably should, you know, wait to talk to you guys about that. Um, ender pill? Yes. I do want two ender pills, though. So, while it's night time, I guess I'll run back here, see if the pillagers are still here. Um, but I would like to get another ender pill before skipping this night, if we could. The ender pills, they literally, like, they took my base. I, I don't know if they despawned or, or what happened. Um, Enderman. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, I opened up the big map, and we actually do have some Enderman in that direction. So I, I will go and try to see if I can get them. Um, the reason being is, there's, there's a storage system we can make with two ender pills. It's... A bit rough, I, I I will I will say, but I think it's right up our alley <laughs> because it's quite horrendous. Um, I need to quickly get in here. Oh, hello. All right. Uh, oh, we actually got no. Yeah, yeah, two ender pills. I thought that was a three. Sweet. Do we? Was there another enderman over here? Ah, he's gone. If he was, I was gonna say maybe I can just grab another one. You know, just just for the thrill of it. Um, but I'll see if we can make this thing. It may need electricity. I'm not too sure, to be honest. Uh, but regardless, it should be good. Are we still producing? I feel like we're not producing. 
Uh, because I've definitely grabbed... Well... Hmm... I think there's something else there, because I can see there's leads in that spot. I'm imagining there's something else here as well, maybe? Hmm... Because I don't know what... Oh, and then we've got toast here. Um... <laughs> okay. I don't really know what the deal is there, but we'll pretend that everything's fine. Um, so yeah, I'll craft the thing first. What it is that I'm after is the storage scanner from RF Tool Storage. This guy is pretty cool in what he does. Um, he'll need some gold, some iron, um, some redstone and whatnot. Uh, I made this chest for storing all that stuff. Now, if we wanted to double our ores, I could make a copper ore hammer and it would require only two blocks of copper. So I'll tell you what. Um, we'll start smelting it. <laughs> it might take a little while, but it should be fine. Um, so we'll let that happen. In the meantime, I guess we do have some stuff, so I can probably try to get it started. Um, I know we need some blue dye and whatnot. Let's have a look. So machine frame is going to need two blue dyes. Let's see if we can do that. One, two. Awesome. Um, four redstone torches. We'll see if we can somehow string that together as well. Boom. Is it just four? Yeah, okay, it's just four. Awesome, one, two, three, four. Brilliant. Um, and yeah, that's it. So two iron is what I need, actually. Not the stuff I'm currently smelting, but I wanted to double it. So I guess that's fine. Everything makes sense. Yeah, okay, sweet. I'll, I'll wait for that stuff, and then we'll do that. Uh, actually, hold on. There is something else we can do. Um, I want to make pipes. So these guys here. I need more iron for that as well. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, I... Mm, yeah, we'll, we'll just wait. I'll, I'll be patient. All right, well, we've got what we came for. Um, so these we turn into blocks. And then two of those blocks and three sticks should get us oh, an ore hammer. Now, it only has 64 durability. But it's kind of worth it because we can take half a stack of iron. And we can simply turn it into a full stack um, of iron. Which is, as you can see, pretty good. Um, on top of that, we'll go ahead and transform this into some... Oh... I didn't want to do that. Um, okay, well, well, we've got, <laughs> we've got fire. How does this work? There it is. Okay, <laughs> sure, why not? Um, I think we do have some uh, tiny coal still. So I guess we'll just use this stuff. We'll put most in there, half there, half there. Okay, okay, we've, we've got the iron that we need. <laughs> so first things first, machine frame, cool. Then we make a storage scanner. Awesome. I think he needs power, but we'll, we'll, we'll work that out. So this guy, I can place him down right there. And yeah, he does need power. What he's going to do is he's going to be able to um, connect to every single storage system um, within a certain radius. I think within this radius here. So you can increase it up to 20 blocks. As you can see, we've got a bunch of different items here. Um, if you double click on an item, it should highlight what item it's referring to. Um, but I imagine shaders, uh, block that a little bit. So we'll try this again. Inventory is now highlighted. Hmm. I don't really see. Oh. What have you got? Blue eyes. Bumblebee spawn egg. Why does the bumblebee look like that? <laughs> don't hmm me. Oh, actually, hold on. Are these makes all possible... Globally bookmarked trades. Trades for all global bookmarks until all resources are exhausted. Makes all possible locally. Okay, I, I don't really know what that means. Um, but this should be highlighting them. Like the furnace? It doesn't really look highlighted. <laughs> Regardless, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Um, all we'll have to do is... Also, I just realized... Hold on. Is everything so bright because of the night vision? Because everything does feel really bright, doesn't it? We'll give it five more seconds because I, I don't want the video to look weird if if that's what's going on here. Yeah, that looks a lot more green, doesn't it? All right, we'll just have to toggle the thing off and on. That's that's fine. Um, but yeah, it, it tells us the coordinates. So we'll be able to find out. We know that the chests that we have here are only this. So what we can do is I can click the star on each of these. And as you can see, this inventory on the side suddenly fills up with all the items that are inside here, which is pretty cool. If we go to the all routable... There we go. Um, there's a few other things we can do, I think. I thought, yeah, we can sort it by amounts um, descending. So we have obviously the most of the stuff at the top 
and then obviously more as it goes down. Some of it's a little bit weird. For example, the sand has big text that says there's 500 and then also small text that says there's 500. I'm not sure what the deal is there, but um, that's perfectly fine. The rest of the stuff looks pretty good. And yeah, now if I have something, for example, cobble, I can shift click it and it will place it here and it will attempt to put it into the system. Um, yeah, I, th I think we can just leave it like that. Now, the reason it's not is I assume because we don't have any power. Can I take stuff out? No, I can't. Uh, so we need power to actually use it, but at the very least you can see how it would work. Um, and you can even click on like furnaces and we could take the stuff out or put the stuff into the furnace. All through this one block here. Same with like the millstones, the drawers. We could open a drawer and like take the seeds out um, or even take our toast out. All from this one uh, little contraption. So he's pretty cool. He, he honestly is. Um, but we do need power. So um, if we search generator, we get a few different generators. Um, there's some coal generators from the space mod at Astra. Um, there's some deep resonance generators. There's obviously power generators. They're pretty cool. Um, and then honey generator, a blazing generator, and a coal generator from RF Tools Power. This is probably what we're going to go with just as a base. We can give this guy coal. We can give him charcoal. Um, and he'll get the job done. And, and that, that, that seems pretty, pretty viable. What that'll do as well is once we get him set up, we can probably think about automating some sort of tree farm. And it gives us a goal, right? We, we get some sort of fuel that we need to uh, produce. And because it's not too crazy of a generator, chances are we'll want to upgrade from it in the future. So it, it helps us, you know, work through the pack a little bit. Um, so I've got that stuff. We've obviously got some iron. Awesome. Um, there is a crafting grid here as well. And you can even save recipes, which is pretty cool. But um, I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Um, so coal generator. Awesome. Um, boom. I can click craft one and it'll tell me, hey, you don't actually have blue dye. That's fine. Um, yeah, we'll just do that in our inventory. So two blue dye. Open this guy back up. Chuck the blue dye. Oh, I guess he doesn't want to go in. Eh, it worked anyway. It grabbed it from my inventory. So now we have a machine frame. That's pretty cool. And then this recipe is what we want. And we've got just about none of it. Um, so redstone torches. We can make two of those. Cool. Um, and then I just need uh, a lot more coal than I've got, which is a bit of a problem. Um... I can use the rest of this pickaxe, or the axe, sorry. And then what I may do is flint up some more um, of the template stuff. And maybe we make a, an iron axe. I've actually got to repair my iron pickaxe too, so we've got a little bit of work to do. Um, or I could do stone. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'll do stone for now. We, we don't need to go too crazy. I may actually do stone and one of those golden uh, tool rods just just because why not, right? Why not? We'll have fun. So that goes there. Um, and then what do I actually need for the repair kit that it mentioned before? This guy needs five template boards, so I'd have to make another one. I don't really have that on me, so whatever. All right, cool. I'm going to go chop down some trees. Um, once again, the beautiful part of Ultimine is I can chop down this entire tree without having to go to the top, which is really good. We'll get rid of this other axe as well. Clear up some space. I do need to think about um, getting a magnet set up. I think a magnet would be extremely helpful. Also, in regards to these particles, they're, they're from like a, a third party mod I've added. Um, it's all complete. Like I can turn that stuff off. I can turn it smaller. We could change what it does. Um, I could even just turn it off. You know what I mean? If we wanted to. Um, so yeah, th those options are there. I could do blocky. <laughs> just to have a little bit of fun. Um, that, you know what? I think that actually looks a little bit more fun. It'll drop like little um, fake blocks. I, I, I think that's fun. I, I think I prefer that. It's a little bit less obnoxious, maybe, compared to um, what it previously was with all the stuff everywhere. <laughs> I don't know. I, it's it's mainly just gimmicky stuff. I, I really do. I have fun messing around with them, though. <laughs> all right. We'll start making a proper... Not so much a good tree farm, but just somewhere I can just come and chop down like a stack of wood at a time. You know what I mean? Before we set up some sort of automation. That should be pretty good. Um, regardless, we do have a, a stack of logs. Awesome. We'll go ahead and make some planks. And before we do that, I obviously want to smelt up some of this stuff. So I'll put 
two in each. <laughs> For some reason, all of... Oh, I didn't want to do that. Can I just swap it? Ah. <laughs> it's fine. All right, I'm curious. Has this fixed itself? Okay, yeah, that's fixed itself. Cool. Um, the other thing I wanted to fix real quick, and we've got the iron for it now, um, is I would like to make these pipes. These guys need two droppers, so we'll make two of those. And then we just make an iron pipe. And it should be that simple. Yeah, cool. On top of that, we need a wrench. Um, although... We do have the wrench from... Oh, no, we didn't make the wrench from a, from a Create. My bad. We'll just make a, a simple pipe wrench then. Ah, two flint. I don't think... Yeah, we don't have flint. Um, We do have gravel. Hold on. Is there... Can I craft flint? Oh, no. Unless I do that. Ah, it probably makes more sense to just grab the gravel and, you know, place it down, dig it up, that sort of thing. Um... Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll figure out what we're doing. We'll, we'll try to wrap this up, one up pretty soon. I'll set up the coal gen, um, which, yeah, I haven't made yet. I need the coal for. That makes sense. Um, yeah, we'll chuck that back in there. Get that going. And what am I doing? <laughs> Do we remember? I was going to make some gravel. I'm just going to drop these berries down. We've got our own food. We don't need that. Um, shovel. Once again, with the beauty of Ultimine, I can mine it all at once and get exactly the flint I need um, without, you know, wasting too much time. All right, so in here, we want a wrench and it's gonna use two um, rods or two sticks, pretty much whatever you have. It may have used our golden rods, but it didn't, I guess. So be, be, be a little careful with that. Uh, but now we've got pipes and a wrench. So where do we go from here? Well. I'm going to go ahead and grab this uh, wheat seed and I'm going to solve this uh, problem here. We're going to go ahead and lock the uh, the drawer. So there it is. It's locked. Um, and then from behind, I'm going to connect two pipes, one here and one here. And we're going to shift right click on this item pipe to make it extract. And what we should see is the wheat seeds from here getting extracted four at a time and going into here. Cool. That takes care of it. Now, this guy will try to output any item in there, including the wheat. But once again, because it's a draw, it just won't work. Um, using those pipes as well, you could automate this entire process a lot easier. Like, this could just be like five blocks in a row. Instead, we've got about like 20 blocks down here, but it's fun. I like it. Um, okay, so coal we now have. Awesome. We should now be able to make um, the coal generator that I thought I bookmarked, but I guess I didn't. So we'll grab this guy here and voila, coal generator. So this guy, there's two options, right? We could make um, energy pipes, these red ones here. It costs a bit of redstone and we only have one machine at the moment, so it doesn't matter too much. Um, so, or we place it connecting so that they're touching each other. Um, next, if we just chuck the coal in there, it'll start generating at 60 RF a tick. So 60, uh, 60 redstone flux. I think is what they call it, RF. There, there's a few different uh, units of measurement that they typically use. Like there's FE, which is I think forge energy. There's um, ZAPS, if you're using um, FTB um, power mods. There's um, EU, which I think are just energy units, <laughs> I would imagine. Um, and there's MJ, there's what I would assume, in real life, they're mega joules, but in Minecraft, it's probably like Minecraft joules, right? There, there's a lot of different ones they're yeah, pretty much interchangeable for the most part. Um, and as you can see, this guy's full of power. This bar's filled up. He's good to go, which means I can start chucking stuff in. Now, it won't care about my filtering here. You know what I mean? Like, it won't keep this chest nice and tidy. Um, which could be a problem. Could not be a problem. Meh. Meh. You know what I mean? Oh, we've got two of these. I didn't even realize. Um, if I plan on going from a storage scanner to a completely different storage system and I don't care about the chest, then this thing's perfectly fine. It doesn't matter where it puts the stuff. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, we can grab it from wherever. Uh, but yeah, we can chuck this stuff in. The inventory might look a little bit laggy with stuff not flying in there quick enough. But it, it, as you can see, it's all making it in there. It doesn't really matter too much. Um, cool. Also, we do have a backpack, so we should probably you know keep some handy stuff in there. And how cool is that? <laughs> it looks very dorky. Our base is incredibly... It's just embarrassing, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, we do have cobble. <laughs> we have cobble. 
Can we make this look nice? Um, in the cobble department, what can I do? Cracked cobblestone bricks. These actually look really nice, these cobblestone bricks. I'll tell you what, I've never seen them before. Maybe we make, um... You know what? Oh, we're going to make the walls out of it. And then I think we're probably just going to use, um... Oak planks, I would imagine. Unless there's some, uh, cool type of oak plank block we can make. Not a kitchen counter. What can, we can stone cut them into, not much. Re remember, it is early in the pack. I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to be highlighting the lack of customizing blocks. There, there are plenty on their way. I, I have no doubt in my mind. Um, in fact, I think in the update after this one, I'm currently on the previous version, um, framed blocks, uh, makes an appearance as well as I think a chisel one, possibly re-chiseled. I'm, I'm not, I'm not certain on that though, but, um, yeah, so it, it's happening, right? Stuff's happening. It's just, <laughs> we've got to, we've got to work with what we've got. Um, yeah. I'm really trying to think, what do I want to make my walls out of? <laughs> I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll at least get a floor put in so that this episode, you know, we get to see a little bit more progress happening <laughs> around the base with our horrible shovel. Um, so, oh, these look nice. I like them. Yeah. There we go. Do we feel <laughs> official? What I might do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, I've, I've got an amazing idea. I'm going to just put a proper floor in. We're going <laughs> to... I know. I know. It's a lot, right? It's it's impressive. I'm going to put a proper floor in and everything is just going to feel that much better because it, because it is. It's just going to be better. Um, it's going to be the foundation and then we can put walls in once we've got maybe a tree farm set up so we can actually afford the walls. Unless you guys have a better idea for what I can use for walls, but um, I'm happy with what we've got. Let's do that. Um... And then I think we go down another level. That's sort of what I'm thinking. Um, and while we're at it, I'll make a new um, template thingy. So we'll clear this. Um, we'll make a shovel. Boom. Um, oh, I'm trying to put the stuff away, but it's not really working the way I want it to. Boom, boom. Awesome. Shovel template. We'll craft one of those. Put that away. Chuck this guy in here. Um, are we just going to make it out of iron? I mean, surely, right? Why not? Iron, awesome. Oh! Huh. It used an emerald. I didn't even think about emerald being an option. And we've got diamonds. Uh. Huh. What do we think? Is emerald good? I, I'll, be, I'll be honest, it looks pretty good there in terms of the speed of 10, the um, durability of 1000. I, I think we've done pretty good here. <laughs> Um, while we're at it, why not? We'll make it gold. What a tool we just made. This is phenomenal. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's got some interesting stats. Um, so it's brittle, so it'll take some extra damage. Um, gear has a synergy bonus. If base value is more than 100%. I've dropped my ear. I've lost one of my ears. That's fine. Um, okay. I don't really know what that means, but... Cool. So I've got this shovel now. It seems pretty good. Not too crazy. Um, I don't, however, I don't know if I have a bunch of cobble. <laughs> Believe it or not. We, we may have enough just to do this floor, but we, we are running on empty. <laughs> Which isn't the worst thing ever. Uh, but I, yeah, I think this works. I, I approve of what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm standing by it. So we do this. We've got... It's not quite the yellow brick road, but we've got the brick road. Let this come down here. And then I can already see... Yeah. Do I, uh, what we could do... I, I do want to show you guys one more thing um, before we do anything else. And that is, if I grab um, an andesite alloy... And th th these guys are probably empty, right? Oh, no, no. Beautiful. We get to keep some. Um, and... I'll leave that. I'll leave that for now. We'll hold on to the charcoal. But if I strip the log and make it into an andesite casing, what you can do is with this one andesite casing, you can actually encase the other blocks. So for example, this guy here, he's kind of floating. Ah, uh, you know what? Actually, he's fine. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll leave him how he is. What, what else could we change though? Um, 
Hmm. I'll be honest, I quite like most of the gears that we have. Um, but you can encase them with this, much like how I do it here, with a right click on these guys. As you can see, it puts like a little frame around them. Um, and it sort of blends in with the rest of the machine. So like the depot that we've got, um, all that sort of stuff. And so it'll do the same with these. Um, I guess I can show it off. Yeah, so see, it like keeps the, the look so it like connects with everything else, but you still get the, the gear in the middle, um, which I, I think is phenomenally cool. I, I, I really do like it. The only problem is uh, it doesn't really suit. Did we just lose? No, we got the cogwheel. Awesome. I, I, the cogwheels look cool as well, so it's like, you know, you gotta you gotta pick your pick your poison. Um, what we could do as well with this last block, I'm thinking, is we can probably just place it here. There we go. <laughs> I, th I think that looks pretty nice. Um, yeah, you know, it's 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 not too crazy, <laughs> but uh, but I'm I'm happy about it. Um, what I may do as well is I'll make some um, deep slate walls. Yep. That's right, some deep slate walls, and then possibly some slabs. <laughs> and we'll go over here, because we've got our mine over here. Yeah, here it is. And so, why not? We'll just make a quick little thing. You know what? I'll make it bigger than I think that it needs to be, right? Because I think whenever I do like a mine, a mine um, roof or something, it's always a lot smaller than... Like, like, it just doesn't look right. So I think if we do something like this... Then we'll give it plenty of room <laughs> and we'll pretend like that somehow makes it look better, right? And then what we can do as well is I can toggle on my night vision so we can keep working. Um, now the downside is building a roof. As you guys may or may not know, <laughs> they never look good when I make them. <laughs> but everything needs a roof. That's the problem. I'm pretty sure, <laughs> I think all the mod six we had like no roof. I think seven as well. We just didn't do roofs. We just had like, um, like these, <laughs> this looks horrible. Oh my God. How do I, how do I redeem this? Um, oh no. Oh, I don't like this at all. Um, and on top of that, the mine comes up the other way. This is so this is horrible. <laughs> this is really bad. Uh, you know what? I think I can fix it um, by, by putting a floor in. <laughs> that's, that's all I know how to do it. Okay. I, I think the floor fixed it. <laughs> uh, and the fact that we're, we're, we're being hard carried by the uh, the beautiful shaders at the moment. The uh, I think we're using complimentary reimagined. They are hard carrying right now. <laughs> because this would look horrible. Like, you ready? <laughs> you know, you know what? Actually, it's kind of. I like it. I like it. I still like it. <laughs> yeah, this is good. This is good. Oh, the fire looks. It just looks like a Neanderthal made it. <laughs> but then you turn shaders on, and it's like, oh, beautiful little campfire. All right, sweet. Um, are, are we good? Do we feel good? Are we happy with what I've done here? Probably not necessarily, but oh, oh, that that did a lot. That did a lot. Yeah, I think this is good. Um, I'm not sure what wall we're going to build it out of. I imagine just oak. It's what we've got. We could do redwood. I go if I remember to go chop the trees. I don't think we have any tree people either. I'm a little bit scared to say it, but, it, but in saying that, the, the past few series when the tree people have shown up, they've actually been quite friendly. So I'm not too worried. <laughs> Famous last words. Um, sweet. Yep. Okay. Cool. I don't know what the thumbnail is going to be, whether it'll be the storage scanner, um, or something. <laughs> Get with the, you're really just in the way, aren't you? Um, or maybe it'll be the tools, the fact that we have an emerald shovel. I don't know. You know, oh, we could do armor as well. Ooh. Next episode, maybe. Oh, yeah, you can actually make really good armor. Okay, well, uh, th there's, a, there's a lot to do. But we'll probably do it in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you again for the comments. Um, just... The general positivity. Um, the response to the first episode, once again, I, I always... They typically do well because it's the start of a series. Everyone can jump in, sort of see what's going on. Um, but it's been ex it's been extremely positive. So, um, thank you, guys. Thank you. Honestly, it's... um, it, It's one of those things where you don't really... <laughs> you don't think that you really need it until it happens. You know what I mean? And you're like, wow, that, like, that's... Like, the... the 
the morale boost just internally uh, is ridiculous. So, so thank you guys. Um, and I think even just in the player base, I think like uh, for our service, people are excited to jump back in. So it's cool. It's, re it's really cool. I, th I think, I definitely think we missed out with uh, all the mods eight because I imagine, um, I, I don't know, there's, there's something about it. <laughs> Obviously the play about like the quantity and, and the views and stuff, but I think it's also just, it's like a safe space. You know what I mean? Like you can sort of like, you know, you know what to expect. It, they're not going to blindside you in like the main uh, mod packs. They've got, they've got their other mod packs for that. They've got like um, to the sky and uh, gravitas to, to hit you with the, with that sort of stuff. But yeah, thank you guys. Um, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you're still enjoying it. Hopefully I'm not ruining everything. I do realize <laughs> I didn't intentionally. Let's just, hold on. Hold on. Let's just, does that look better? No, it really doesn't. Hold on. Hold on. I didn't, I didn't intend for the, for that to look. No one commented on that, but I saw it and I, I didn't. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. There's, yeah. Anyhow. Thank you guys. <laughs> Hopefully I'm fun. Hopefully I'm not too annoying. Um, because I'm sure there's a billion different mistakes. I'm sure I'm doing everything completely different how you'd want to do it um, if you were to play. But I guess that's the beauty of it is he can play. He can jump on the servers, whether it's uh, this one we're on. Um, oh, Millie's down there. Um, or whether it's, you know, um, on the public server or whatever. Or, or if you're just playing along at home. <laughs> I say at home, like like you have to travel to join the server. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. Thank you to our donators. Thank you to our channel members. Thank you guys. Um, don't feel pressured. You don't need to donate. You don't need to become a channel member. Um, the servers, they, they will happen regardless. The videos will happen regardless. Um, make sure you, you know, keep yourself financially stable, <laughs> obviously. Um, but thank you guys. Thank, thank you regardless. Thank you to our tier three channel members, Melizzi, Andre, and Final Phoenix 13. Thank you guys for, um, for being a part of the community. Yeah, sweet. And thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. If you, if you did that, you, you don't have to. Spoiler alert. But um, but thank you for showing up regardless. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one where we will. You know what? I kind of want to set up a tree farm. Um, there are two options. <laughs> I, I extend the out. Two options. We either set up the classic windmill tree farm with a big spinny thing that chops down trees. Or we set up a minecart contraption. The second one, the minecart contraption, tricky for me, for, for simple minded me. <laughs> that one's tricky. Windmill farm, easy, but also maybe we've seen it all before. Or if you, I don't know, if you guys have some fun ideas, let me know. The benefit of the windmill one, actually, you know what? I don't actually know. Hold on. Windmill. Ah, I was going to say, have the sails changed? Mm, they look the same. Because obviously, you know, the water wheel changed. Well, actually, the windmill bearing itself looks different either way it's fine i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye